Restaurants, bars, and cafes will be limited to takeout only. Buddy Senior, you're the dad of these two uh, young men and uh, started your restaurant named after your wife. And how is this affecting you, your restaurant? And have you ever seen anything like this in your experience? Well, I've been in the industry over 55 years. And for me, it's always been about having fun with my customers and literally putting out good food. Uh, I've always enjoyed what I do. So this here is a little bit different with the guidelines that we have to, and the protocol we have to follow. We are trying to guide ourselves so everybody has a great experience. something that I'm, my eyes are seeing right now. Uh, Junior called and wants to make sure that we don't want to put a tent up here, back here. Okay. But you've got a rain jacket on right now. What do you think? Bottom line is, my dear, you're going to keep everybody safe. This is what we're going to do. Curb side, we're going to concentrate on the curb side. Curb side pickup. Okay. Okay. Curb side pickup. It's going to keep you safe, it's going to keep the restaurant safe, it's going to keep the staff safe, it's going to keep the really? public safe. We're fortunate enough that we had a good delivery business to begin with, and now we have curbside service. Our little town has let us take the front of the sidewalk, so I got probably four or five cars to pull up one time. They line up, we cook their food, we bring them out, and we put them in the car and they drive away and the next car pulls up. That's so great. we've been very fortunate since the beginning good. with that. Good. Um, and and that's it with that. Okay. Well, well, you're very fortunate also to have your two sons. They are all three of you. I wish you the best with your restaurants. It's wonderful that y'all um, are serving that beautiful community. If y'all have never been to Lake George, anyone out there, you've got to go. It's beautiful. And the weather's a lot nicer than it is in New York City during the summer because it's so hot here. I wish you the best. Thanks, guys, for coming on. We'll all be watching Thank the show. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, too. And as the state starts opening up, with a little bit of occupancy inside, et cetera, et cetera, we'll deal with it. We have to refocus and do what is right and what is safe. And this is what's right for us. Okay. And this is what's safe. All right. Okay. All right? Yep. So I just showed up with these signs, okay, trying to take some stress off of Kate. The bottom line is, okay, I don't have to only be worried about my customers and my family. I have to worry about Kate. I don't want to come out and say that in front of her, okay, because the bottom line is she'll even get more nervous. We're all stressed, okay, we're all trying to figure out what's going on here this year. Bottom line is I think my signs, okay, I got plenty more coming. They're going to be out in front. We're going to do curbside pickup. You're going to pull up. You're going to roll down your window. We're going to hand you stuff through the window. It's non-touch. This way here, we keep everybody safe as safe can be going through gates. No. Hey, Junior. Listen, yeah, I appreciate get, you d trying to do this tent thing, but the bottom line is, okay, I don't want, I don't want to do any more business than I absolutely need to do, because I'm trying to keep mom safe, okay. I'm trying to keep the the, the the number and the amount of people coming through this restaurant at a minimum until we figure out what's going on with this virus, and I want to make I want to make sure I'm, I'm playing the safety thing to the max, okay. First of all, for your mother, okay, she is compromised, and we need yeah, to protect her. So, take, you know, just call Jesse and bring the tent thing down because I don't want to do it. I don't want to pack that. the restaurant, all right? Yeah, I heard that. That makes sense. Good point. All right. Thank you. All right, cool. Goodbye. Cool. We just came from my parents' house. They're talking about a COVID plan. My brother and my mom and dad. I was giggling inside. I don't think they realize I got a tent up already and I'm ready to go. I'm a man in action and I got the last tent. I think they're gonna freak out when they find out. All I'm waiting for is the state to give us the go ahead to open up.